So, uh, in the interest of time, uh, we'll have some quick uh, rounds of questions, then the audience will have an opportunity to ask. But before that, let me again contextualize the way I said money can buy equipment, buildings, and all that overnight. I've seen, and, uh, and in my talk, I said Orissa has no dearth of money, plenty of money is there, including the DMF funds. 900 crores in a district, can you imagine? So, the question is, we can build infrastructure overnight, we can buy equipment overnight, gadgets, equipment. You give a call to the company, that company people will come, if you show the money, they will come and build your hospital and equip your hospital. But the question is, who is going to serve? Where are the human resources? And that's a major challenge. We cannot produce human resources overnight, even if you have money. Even if you have billions of dollars, you cannot buy a, uh, human resources from a shop. And that has been a major challenge for the country, as well as for Odisha, which I can see. So how do we address that issue? What to do for that? Are we taking into consideration our academias, our universities, to produce doctors, nurses, paramedics, managers, administrators, technicians? That's not there. And you'll be surprised and shocked to hear there are certain allied health skills we don't have in our state. So those are the major challenges, and Odisha need to look at it very seriously. It's not about the money or the infrastructure or the equipment. It's about human resources, which is very, very critical for healthcare services. So uh, I would request my panel members to give one sentence answer what could be done to address this human resources issue. One is the training capacity. The second is the mismatch between or, or the mal distribution. All the doctors, all the nurses, all the technicians, all, all the healthcare workforce, they want to live in cities. Then who will go to the rural area? Where is the answer for that? Let's do some brainstorming, and I would like to hear in one sentence from each of my panel members. I'll, I'll take up the human resource issues. Uh, see, we have, uh, if we see the, in Odisha, we have uh, dearth of this, we know, because we are struggling every day to get uh, talented doctors, nurses, uh, skilled professionals. But this skill is something which coming up, that's upskilling, de-skilling, and we can uh, promote this more and more, and we can train the staff to help doctors, to help nurses, and to help also paramedics, uh, so that we can sort out this problem. But again, the, regular, the regulatory should be there, like we have a lot of rules and regulation for that. We have to take that approval, that whether NM can do the which work and the GNM nurse can do which work. So these are the things, uh, a lot of terms and conditions there. If we can get some support from the government uh, and support from the uh, curriculum of the uh, courses of the institutes, I am sure we can uh, get rid of all these issues. So basically you are asking for some relaxation in the very stringent rules for human <laughs> resources development. Yeah, because we need more and more people here. And if you see the qualified nurses, here, in a year, I think there, uh, we are having 600, 700 something uh, seats. And if you go for the doctors, we have only uh, around 2,500 seats. So that is not, this, is, this cannot cater your 4.6 million people, right? So, so, so these are the real issues, yeah. Yeah. I do agree. So yes. I used, like, like you say, yeah. I used to be integrated. But there is a stringent rule that I used doctor cannot do, um, uh, practice yeah. medicine. Yeah. So your view, sir, in, in one sentence? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> recently, uh, UGC, the premium uh, statutory body, they have uh, modified their rules to facilitate development in allied health sciences and rehabilitation sciences. And uh, Odisha is fortunate to have Institute of Health Sciences as an autonomous organization, the first one in the country. So it will. So, so let's let's not talk about what's great happening here, but let's talk about what are the deficiencies yes. and how do we address those. So yeah. there is big gap, and they have changed the rules to make it easier for 
institutions in allied health sciences to generate uh, professional manpower. And, and hopefully all the institutions should, 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 not, take, be, should not be based in Bhubaneswar Katak. No, 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 no. Should in be based India. in different parts it, of the state. It is UGC changed the rules for the country under the new education policy. So, future is definitely uh, thank you, Th thank you, sir. Optimist. So, what uh, you are asking about the number of doctors should be increased. So, when we sir, not only doctors, the entire ecosystem entire. So, of human resources. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, regarding the doctor, when we did MBBS like 2007, then era every year in Odisha we used to produce only 350 doctors. Now every year around 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 doctors is producing. So if, once the city gets saturated, obviously these, those doctors will go to the second tier cities. That's a big dream. So <laughs> now obviously that that is the future now. Now so, where they will get settled? In Bhubaneswar, Kotak, everybody will get saturated. So they will go to the Barampo, they will go to the Raurkala, they will go to the Bal Baleswar, Bar Bar then that rural cities will come. So that will take time. Now the, I told you, like, now 14 medical colleges are there excluding the private medical college. If they are belongs to the Odisha, so they will all obviously will stay and as the time pass, they will going, they have to go to the settled in the rural area. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, Bhavto, sir, your, your views. My views in one sentence is I am very sorry. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> I mean, correct. something like this cannot be discussed and summarized in a sentence. Correct, correct. At least I won't be able to do justice. <laughs> so, so it's, it's like uh, very, very most complex and most challenging uh, situation to have human resources which is the key the the other part is the technology which is coming into play and um, uh, there is a, a dedicated session for that we will hear from them but but let me also try to tell you that uh, governments in india state governments have tried all kind of regulations and policies in the past to to make sure that um, the the uh, human resources are in the rural areas they try to make it a rule that if you study in government medical college and if you don't serve the rural areas, there is a penalty, okay, in various states. The doctors, the nurses, everybody said, take the money, leave me. That didn't work. They had, a, they had an incentive scheme. If you go to the rural area, you'll get more salary. That didn't work. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.